Hello everybody, I am Chris of Player 101. Welcome back to my channel. I have another toy review today. I know it's been a little while since I've done a Happy Meal toy review, but I have the complete set for Transformers Robots in Disguise, which was released in April of 2015. Now, I have the complete set, all eight right here. Now, I will go over each individual one, but first, let's go ahead and start with the bots that, that you would get them in. Now, let's start off with the bots. Now, uh, one side will have the boys toy, which is the Transformers Robots in the Skies. Now, the other side, uh, for the same one, is My Little Pony Equestria Girls. Now, what's interesting to note is uh, both character faces that you saw, you can actually punch them out. Now, since I got an extra bots... Now, the idea is that this little portion right over here, um, you can actually put him on a straw. You can put Bumblebee on a straw. Now, if I had any complaint about this particular face, to me, not only does it look very creepy, I mean, that looks ridiculously creepy to me. I mean, to me, it almost looks like Bumblebee is strung out on Cybercrack of some kind. But enough about like, talking to the bots. Let's go ahead and get straight to the toys. Now, the first one up in the set is Bumblebee. Let's get a look at him. Now, let me go ahead and say that the overall detail is not the best, but then again, you are getting a fast food toy, so I really wouldn't expect the highest of quality. Now, each toy would actually, actually package with this. Uh, basically, you can scan your Happy Meal toy. Uh, just download the Transformers app. Uh, that's basically all it's really advertising. But the gimmick with him is he comes with a sword, which is his accessory. You can do one, of, you can make him swing his sword one of two ways. One is to squeeze his legs or actually rotate him at the waist. But other than that, uh, he rotates at the waist, at, at both shoulders, and that's about it. But that's it for Bumblebee. Now the next one up in the set is Grimlock. Now, he comes in his T-Rex mode. Now, he has two gimmicks. Number one, you flip this little switch right down here. Let me insert his fire breath, which is his, which is also a missile. Now, you press down on his yellow fin. Let's see if my camera will pick it up. Yeah. You press down on his fin, and his fire breath will light up. Now, you press it to the right, and it launches out his missile. Let's try it one more time. And it don't shoot very far, but the fact that it's a Grimlock Happy Meal toy, I think that's pretty neat. So, there's Grimlock. Now, next one up in the set is Optimus Prime. Obviously, this is going to be everyone's personal favorite. Now... Optimus Prime, he honestly look, does look decent. He does look all right. Now, the gimmick with him, as you can see, he's got a hole in the front of his fist. And he comes with this accessory. Now, one side of his weapon is going to be flat. So, simply line it up. Put it in. And what you do, there's a little button right back here on his back, which resembles the Autobot emblem. And all you do is press it. And honestly, this for me is just honestly amusing. And that's it for the Optimus Prime. Up, up, and away! Next one up in the set is Fracture. Here's our first Decepticon. Oddly enough, there's not that many Decepticons in this set. But Fracture actually does look pretty sweet. Now, Fracture's gimmick is actually his cannon. Now, there is a little on-off switch, but for me, it didn't matter which way I turned it because it'll still light up. It has a little light-up gimmick. Let me show you what it does. Just press it in. It's a yellow light. flashes to red, and it'll blink. But you can mount this one up a couple different ways on Fracture, which I think is neat. There is a slot that's right to the left of his... Excuse me, right to the left of his head. There we go. 
And you can position his arm almost like he's supporting it, which I think is neat. And he does actually feature weapon storage for it on his back. Now, one of the ways it does show, the main way it shows is to store it like that. But then again, this is hitting up against the leg. But you can also store it like so, which to me, honestly, looks better. But uh, that's it. That is Fracture. Now, that's one up in the set is Underbite, our next Decepticon. Now, this one, to me, honestly, looks pretty cool. This one actually looks pretty cool. Now, the jaw, the upper part of the head, does go back and forth. Now, the gimmick with Underbite is he has two spring-loaded rear legs. Now, what you do is you press him down and let go. And he will, lump, he will launch forward and snap. Now let's try it one more time. Get back here. Now that one I honestly think is pretty neat. Honestly, this one's probably my personal favorite so far, but that one is Underbite. Now that's one up in the set is Sideswipe. Now this one for me, it looks okay, but I mean this is not the one I am the most thrilled about, but he does come with a double-bladed sword. And it does have a little notch, so stick the notch in portion towards his hand. If he'll cooperate. And he features the same gimmick as Optimus Prime. Simply press a little all by emblem on the back of his back. And he's doing his own cheap imitation of Darth Maul. If Darth Maul could see this, I honestly think he would not be impressed. And now, just like with Optimus... Up, up, and away! Now, the next one up in the set is Fits It. And as far as the Autobot ones are concerned, I think I like this one better than I do Optimus. But this one actually does look fairly good. Um, the gimmick with Fits It is you simply roll him on the ground. And see if I can't show it up close. But as you can see, his left hand, it will simply rotate. While his right hand, the drill, it'll simply he'll simply spin, go back and forth. So you simply do this little motion with him, which I think is pretty neat. And the best part is he does feature a little stand, so you can stand him up. My only complaint is he is actually fairly easy to topple over. Other than that, I think this is probably, if you ask me, probably the best one in this line, this set so far. But that is fits it. And our final one in this set is Clampdown. Not only is he the final one in the set, but he's the third and final Decepticon in this entire set. Now, as far as what he's supposed to be, I have absolutely no clue. I am not familiar with this character whatsoever. But the gimmick is that he has a spring-loaded left arm. Simply press the Decepticon emblem. It shoots out his hand. Uh, let me go ahead and retract it back. Alright, there we go. Now, there's also another gimmick with this, which is this portion of his claw right up here. You raise it up. It has a little sensitive button right here. You press it, and it clamps down. Now, the gimmick is that you launch this, and he's supposed to be able to grab something. Well, I grabbed a pen. Now, let's see if I can get it to work. Awesome. Got it to work on the first try. But, um, considering you have to hit it like, right on that dot, it, it, right, right on that little button, it is kind of hard to do. But, considering that it does have that little gimmick, um, I think this, I think it's actually a pretty neat little gimmick. So, as far as, uh, Clive Dallas and Cern, I think he's pretty neat. My only complaint, honestly, aside from how weird he looks, is that he does not have the best of balance. Now, that is the entire Transformers Robots in Disguise Happy Meal set. Now, if you want me to give you my personal thoughts, if you are a die, I mean, a diehard collector of Transformers, if you love Robots in Disguise, then you might love the set. I mean, some of these do make great display pieces, especially fits it. And underbite. 
Um, I would also include Optimus Prime and Fracture. Uh, some of the others, um, I personally wouldn't worry too much about. But for the most part, this is a fairly decent little set, even if it is a Happy Meal set. A Happy Meal toy set, rather. I can barely speak. But if you can find this set reasonably priced, I would get it and just add it to a trans your Transformer collection. I mean, it overall, they do make nice little display pieces. But that is my take on McDonald's, Transformers, Robots in the Skies, Happy Meal set. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.